Sleepy Time Tales. The Rabbit, the Squirrel, and the Otter Families happily sat around the campfire on the first night of their big three-day camping trip. Young Pearl Squirrel, Ollie Otter, and Ruby Rabbit watched the stars come out overhead. It's time all junior campers were asleep, announced Uncle Otter. But you promised to tell us a story every night, said Ruby. So I did, Ruby, said Uncle Otter. Since you reminded me, I'll make up the first one about you. It's called Ruby Rabbit Logs of Victory. Ruby Rabbit was hurrying through the woods carrying a basket with a jar of hot soup in it for sick Gertie Groundhog. Suddenly, from behind a huckleberry bush, pounced a fat old Franklin fox. Eek! squealed Ruby. Eek! Stop shrieking, barked Franklin. You're hurting my ears. He stopped short and covered his ears with his paws. In that instant, Ruby hopped at top speed into a hollow log. Franklin poked his nose into the log. Mighty fine smelling soup you've got there. Give it to me and hop along home. Ruby quickly thought of a way to try and fool Franklin. I can't, Mr. Fox, fibbed Ruby. If only I weren't so plump, I could, but I'm stuck. Hearing this, sly old Franklin slunk around to the end of the log. From this end, I can easily snatch the snoop from that fat bunny. He chuckled and he leaped headlong into the log. But instead of finding the soup, Franklin found himself stuck fast in the narrow log. And there was Ruby. She had hopped out of the log. I fooled you, Mr. Fox, laughed Ruby. I hope you'll excuse me if I don't help you, she called. But I can't let my soup get cold. And with that, she scampered off to visit Gertie Groundhog, who said he had never tasted such hot soup. Ruby, Oli, and Pearl joined Uncle Otter's first night story so much that on the second night, they were in their sleeping bags, ready for bed, even before the moon was up over the oak trees. Uncle Otter asked, Uncle Otter asked Pearl Squirrel, What story are you going to tell us tonight? One for you, Pearl, Uncle Otter replied.